a brief introduction to the Lure Builder. The world's first 3D modeling software focused into the fishing lure design. In the Lure Builder, you can select from many free templates that you can use as a basis of your design. You can easily change the side profile, top profile or cross section of your lure and see all the changes in the real time in the 3D view window. You can expand the views to see all the details better. You can zoom in and zoom out. You can set the model to be semi-transparent to see the exact location of the components. From the components tab you can access component library from where you can use different kind of pre-modeled components like swimming lips, figure eight forms, weight balls, different sort of tails typical for soft baits or even natural fish fins. When you have selected the component that you want to use and clicked it, it's inserted to your project and you can move it into the position that you desire by dragging it with your mouse. You can also rotate the component or you can do the same thing by inserting the XYZ coordinates or rotation angles with your keyboard. You can give your lure a new name and save it into your own private library. From this My Lures library you can access your designs 24-7, click them open and continue editing when you wish. When you have saved your lure, you can see its properties from here. You can see the lure length, area and two different volumes, hull volume and solid volume. In this case those are the same. I will describe the difference. This lure over here has a thickness value of 50 mm. That's way more than the whole lure is wide or tall. But when I change the thickness value into 3 mm, you can see this light shadow line here. It states that the design is now hollow. I will save the design and go again into the properties tab. And as you can see, now the solid volume is different. So the overall volume of the lure body is 22.04 cubic centimeters. But the actual volume that you will use the material, resin or whatever you will use, would be 13.51 cubic centimeters. This is very powerful when you are estimating that how much weight you would need to make fast sinking or neutral buoyancy lures. So now that you have made a great lure, you would like perhaps to manufacture it. And if you prefer the traditional manufacturing methods, want to do everything by your hand, you can go into the print command and print your design into a paper with your own home printer. You can select the paper size, A4 or leather size, select that whether you would like to have this kind of grid lines to help your dimensioning, uh, whether you want to have portrait or landscape orientation, and whether you would like to see all the components that you have in inserted. When you're done with the settings, just go and click Print Lure Profiles as PDFs. With this PDF, it is quite easy to print the design with your home printer into one-to-one -one scale, and then cut it out and saw your wood blank into the exact dimensions. If you would prefer to get a 3D printed Lure Master for your soft bait mold or even a CNC cut aluminium mold, you can also go into the web shop and into My Lures section where you can see all your designs and you can order different type of uh, pre-made alternatives for them. We use selective laser sintering machines for our 3D printed lure prototypes. So when you order one, you will get a plastic piece which has 0.15 mm resolution. The end result has this kind of ladder pattern. So when you're making your own silicone molds or when you want to really fine tune the end product, you will need to do a little bit of sanding and perhaps a clear coat on top of the lure body. 
One of the good benefits in the lure builder is that you don't need to worry about the internal structures within your lure. So if you have set the wall thickness and created a hollow design, lure builder automatically uh, assigns these kind of support structures for the components. You don't need to model them at all. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and hope to see you as a Lure Builder user.